Well, good morning. It's Monday. Oh boy. So we have the whole week to go through and today's Monday and we are going to survive. We're going to thrive somehow or another with the grace of God. I am Lisa Fry, the Catholic Unschooler. And yes, you do hear Christmas music. Is it December? No, it is at the end of August. Why am I doing this? Because I want to. <laughs> Yes, I love Christmas and I don't care about the summer. I want it here and gone. Goodbye. And today we're doing a grocery haul, so come along with me. And um, I have $147. I don't have a lot to buy, which is a miracle. I really think that um, because I'm meal planning, I'm trying to figure out, this is the second week in a row that I really don't seem to need a whole lot. So I'm thinking it's because um, of meal planning. Yes, so because I'm actually feeding people <laughs> real meals, I think that uh, they're not running to other things. So I think this week I'm gonna make more meatballs, uh, fish, a lot of fish, and um, more chicken, and maybe a lasagna, and I think that'll be a good to go. So yeah, so hopefully everybody's doing well on this Monday, and um, I know I am. I got enough sleep last night. I feel good. All right, so I will let you know what's happening when I get when I'm all done at the uh, first uh, grocery store that I'm going to. All right, God bless. I just missed the exit because I was enjoying my Christmas music. I'm going in. I'll be back. So I pray to Our Lady of Good Counsel, who is the Mother of God, to help me to make really wise decisions. Oh, all right, that took about an hour. All right, so that was my um, discounted grocery store. With cash, I paid one hundred and ten dollars and nine cents, and and it was fun because I didn't need much of anything. But I kept thinking of my children and how they, I had extra money it seemed, you know, because I didn't need anything much. So you'll see I do have groceries that I bought for 110, but I kept thinking of my kids, you know, like I kids, particularly my son, uh, you know, saying, Mama, can we get this? Can we get that? And I don't really get to do it often, so I'm going to just do it. So I did. I got things like pizza, pocket little things, and dinosaur chicken, and... All right, so, and then with my credit card, so I bought some other items like paper goods and it was $7.98. I like to pay that with my credit card because I don't want to be squished with, you know, I can only spend this or I can only spend that on my, um, with my cash. So my husband handed me $200 and I said, look, I already filled up the gas tank with the credit card, so just give me 160 every week and I'll use that for church offering and the food. And then of course the credit card with gas and um, which is $40 always, like 43 sometimes. All right, so I'm going to Market Basket just to get a couple of other odds and ends. All right, let's see how I do, I got $40 left. Wish me luck, God, please send wisdom to my brain, <laughs> All right? Yes. So I'm driving to Market Basket and I thought I could talk about, you know, I, I don't know if it's a temptation or what, but I always, since the kids are getting older, I always seem to have this feeling of dread, you know, that I'm losing my children and, you know, we're so separated and I know that I really have to fill myself with God, really. Um, and I think that's what the problem is, really. Because I have my children. I have to live in the present moment, right? In present time. So, what I'm doing is, is I'm trying to, uh, I am trying to, like, to, I bought, I'm trying to think of things to bring us together, you know? There's not too many places to go to in the world. I'm sorry. I don't, I just don't see it. And uh, if there is, they're really not interested, so they like to do their own things. 
and um, the rest of the time I'm gonna have to like pull them together with different feast days that are going on and and different like tonight I bought a pizza when do I, I don't really buy pizza often so I did I bought one and you know we could sit outside if it's not too hot just to bring us together without any technology so if you're watching this please pray for me that I can um, your prayers do help I'll tell you that uh, if you have prayed for me in the past about different sadnesses, it's ridiculous. So thank you. And um, I'm just excited. I'm excited and I'm sad. I'm like, I feel like the sadness is always over me and I hate that. So it has to be temptation. It just has to be. So if you're out there and you're feeling sad, I really, uh, my advice to you if you're looking for any is to say Jesus I trust in you Jesus I trust in you and then he will fill us you know Mother Teresa she was felt very distant from God can you even believe that yes she suffered with that mm -hmm. all right on our way that's why I'm looking forward to Christmas something to celebrate <laughs> okay here we go yes here we go Shall rain forever and ever. Isn't that awesome? It's true. Woo! Keep on praising God. Whenever you're feeling that knot in your heart, praise him anyway. Endeavor. Oh my gosh, I love this song. It's songs like this that make me really happy. But I'm just, I'm celebrating this. This is great. I know it's the summertime. Oh, I can't wait. This is where we usually buy our Christmas trees at Market Basket. You say, what? It's been a tradition. It's awesome. Two turtle doves and a partridge in the pear tree. Five golden rings. Birds, three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in the pear tree. It's so hot out and I'm singing Christmas songs. I love it. Why? Because I can. Wow, so a lot of cool things happened while I was at Market Basket. One of them is, right outside my car, I found this Golden Blossom Organic White Forest Honey. 100% organic. And I, it's, uh, I opened it up, it's sealed up still, so I am in my glory, woo! You know, I didn't really need honey, but won't hurt so that was exciting and it was so funny right I saw this lady at um, my grocery my discounted grocery store and we were talking and then all of a sudden I turn around at market basket and we see each other we're like oh my gosh and she has always meal planned with her kids they're older now and she says that she has them write whatever they want on the refrigerator for that week and she says they can have whatever they want, but she makes it from scratch, you see? So she's like, she really believes in the pizza stone. Uh, she said from, is it Pampered Chef? Am I saying that right? She highly recommends it. And I can't ever make a good pizza. I don't know. So, um, yes. So how much did I spend in there? Let me see. Um, for $3.93, I bought Miffy, our rabbit. Some food. And then uh, $37.35. I knew I was gonna go over a little bit, so I put Miffy's food on the credit card. So, and that's, oh, actually, that's not it. I need uh, vanilla. Didn't I say I didn't need a lot of things? I really didn't. I really didn't need a, need a lot of things, but I just kinda, instead of giving back money to my husband, I just utilized it. All right, so I'm going to Whole Foods to get organic. Um, it's non-alcoholic because let me tell you something about all that extract stuff. They got, is it still going? 41% alcohol. I'm giving this to my children, okay? I don't need them to be addicted to alcohol later on in life. So I'm going to get that. 
So let's go. So it's 12 o'clock, and I like to say, A Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. This is where we're going to see our Christmas trees. Right now it's empty. Yes, it is. And I'll show you during that time in December. Oh, I'm so excited. Call me crazy, but this is every time the summer comes to an end, I always start because fall is right around the corner, literally. You know, there's many fall evenings and even mornings. It's wonderful. And I know people are still going to the beach and whatnot and swimming in their pools. But not for me. For me, I am prepared. I am preparing for apple pies and bringing the family together somehow. You know, I don't know. I, like I said, I really think it is like a demonic thing. It's like this thing that hangs over me, you know? And, um, and so I must pray my rosary. I must, I must seek God. Um, yeah, seek God if you're having trouble, you know? In my heart, I am always sad. Like, look it, right? Usually my whole time of being a mother, I have always had my children with me shopping. I mean, this was like an, an affair. It was like, woohoo, let's go. But now they don't want to come because now I'm on a budget and they can't really get anything that they want. So maybe if I try what the lady said, put it up in the refrigerator, what you want, and I say, come on, come with me. Maybe that'll be better, you know? I, I'm feeling separated from them all the time. I don't like that. Even though I'm with them all the time. It's really strange. All right, well, here we go. So while I'm at a red light and driving to Whole Foods, um, it's 12.10 and I still haven't eaten because I am still staying focused on intermittent fasting where you are trying to only eat when you're really hungry, you know? So I don't mean really hungry, I mean when you are really truly hungry. So usually it's in the late afternoon that I start to get hungry, you know? Because my body is still processing stuff and it's um it's uh it's eating the fat that's on my body during the day. People think you have to feed your body to lose weight. You have to not eat a lot, that's all. I think what might be happening too is that I don't have a pool this year. Last year we tore it up, so you know, I feel bad for the children, you know. And so they're off doing their own thing rather than enjoy each other at the poolside. I think I'm gonna call this video, Woe is Me Grocery Haul. <laughs> yes. Oh. Thank you for all my subscribers. I only need five more and I will have 100. It's a miracle. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Through all of this sorrow of feeling disconnected from my children, I know it's temptation, but the other thing is, um, all right, so I don't know if you can see this, non-GMO, it's organic. This is pretty cool because, I hope I'm saying it right, Aloracin, and that is the pure concentration of all the complex aroma and flavor essences of fully cured vanilla beans. So, and it's non-alcoholic, that's beautiful. So that's what I wanna give my children. And it's four ounces, I saved, more buying that if I bought the two ounces for seven dollars and like 49 cents and what I thought was cool so you buy these empty bottles and you can put your essential oils like lemon and peppermint and I forget the other ingredients but say you want uh, to spray it in the back of your throat to kill off any um, bacteria or anything that might be in there um, so that your children and your family don't get sore throats God always wants us to be closer to him. So we have these feelings that we just can't kick because he wants us to draw near to him. That's pretty neat, huh? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna bring all this stuff in with the kitties and I'll show you what I bought, how exciting. And, um, and then maybe I'm gonna take you, I'm, I'll make another video. I wanna show you if I can get it on video, uh, Lady of Guadalupe's picture from Mexico. Yes, it's here at a family's house nearby to mine. My good friend, Elma, uh, called me and told me about it. So I thought that was nice. We'll go and make a nice visitation to our, our Lady of Guadalupe's picture, you know? 
You know, when people say, oh, what do you mean you're gonna go see a picture? That's idolatry. No, I found myself hugging something that belonged to one of my relatives, okay, that, that passed away. So we hug our, you know, their pictures, we kiss their pictures, we even talk to their pictures. I talk to pictures all the time because I love that person that is no longer here. I even, I kiss a picture of uh, uh, somebody I knew that died when I was little. So it's all in the name of love, really. Is that a song? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm almost there. So that took me two and a half hours to go to three different stores. It's worth it in the end because you really do see. All right, Sarah is waiting. And I was going to give her this for Christmas, but I cannot it's too wait. Early. Close your eyes. All right, should I give it to you out of the bag or in the bag? Out, uh, in. In. All right, don't look. Feel it first. I thought this would be exciting. Is this for selling? No, but you know what? Oh my gosh, maybe. I could. Okay, ready? Yeah, it's for your business. To get back to school. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? No. Yeah, it's a little lunch box. Oh. And you know, you would, so it is pretty. a lunch. It's for a lunch box, but yeah, since you need a nice thing to put it in, you can use that. Because you guess exactly what you so use. Cool too. Yes, that's what it's for. Thank you. So yeah. Much. Oh. Hug time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's love. What a nice welcome I got home too when I came home. We love All right. you. We were gone. Yes, and I'm still gone. Oh All right, here we go. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to use this for selling. Yes. Way right. Never mind back to school. Oh, we don't even go to school. No. All right. So we got some spinach. We got some spring mix. And don't mind all the nail stuff over there. We got chicken. This would have been a really good. I'll make some soup with this, and maybe um, see. I didn't realize there was bone it? in there. Um, okay, so chicken soup, and I really don't know. I didn't realize that there was bone in here. I would have made um, like a chicken cutlet. Dr. Berg says use the fattier meats. All right, look at this. That was great. It was like four dollars and something. Sarah likes the little cheeses, and I'm going to use this for mac and cheese at some point, and she likes the pepper jack. We got organic bananas for Miffy and my husband, and Sarah likes her little cheese sticks with the orange in it. Of course, that's better. It has more fat, healthy fat. We got baby bell um, mushrooms. The Irish butter, this is great. It's grass fed and that's the kind you want. Healthy fat. I know a lady online, she eats one of these a day. Ew. Yeah. Uh, unsalted butter, I get that for extra cream cheese because we have a sweet tooth. And mozzarella, woohoo, yay. And walnuts, that's always healthy to have. Uncured beef, hot dogs, no nitrates. Okay, and I saw these as well. These are the world's best I didn't, cheese. Oh, what is those? These. I know. So good! Don't they remind you when you were little too? They're amazing. I didn't see any um, modified... I am little. Modif yeah, you are little. Modified food starch in it. I love There wasn't any. This. I love doing this. All right, ready? We're going to get a great experience here for Sarah. Peeling it. They have big, huge blocks, like big ones. You're going to see. All right. Uh, this is so satisfying. I always loved peeling it. Yes. That was like my favorite part. Right. I would just peel it and then put it back in the fridge. What? Literally, I'm not even joking. Oh, really? Isn't that nice? Oh, oh. so good. We want to give some to our viewers. Mm, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> yeah, so this didn't have any um, modified food starch, so I got that. And I like to make my own breadcrumbs now. And uh, coat the chicken with it. So oh, wait, I want to do something really That's funny. what I got this for. Oh, wait, I want to do something funny. What? Can I get this out? Get it out. Yeah, you have to dig. So they don't really like eating this one so much, so I'm going to use it for my breadcrumbs. But they are all sprouted, which means that it's alive. It's live grain. Okay, get three loaves of bread there. And I haven't gotten these since they were little. So I didn't see anything horrifying in it. And it does have the pure A. So they're getting, I believe, the fiber from it a little bit. And um, I'm going to make either chicken soup with this or or just macaroni salad. Yeah, and to go with that, I found this, which I loved. Okay, come on. 
Give some to the viewers. Oh. Wait, wait. Wow, they did take a big bite, didn't they? You guys must be hungry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, this doesn't say non-GMO. So the the oil that's in here. Let me see. Uh, ding -a -ding -a -ding. soybean oil. Oh boy, that's not. It might be organic, but it's not non-GMO. So I'm not sure. Well, we'll use this up, and then I won't buy it again. Okay, salsa for our chips. We are big. Uh, Non-GMO corn chip eaters, and yeah, so uh, we'll put our own salt on this. This is dollar eighty nine, unbleached flour. Who wants bleach in their food? Uh, I'm gonna make my own mayo, so I returned my safflower because one of my viewers said it was no good. And uh, pure avocado oil, non-GMO. All right, and. To bring the family together outside, because I like togetherness, some hummus, and we'll have some vegetables with it outside at the table. And my daughter loves pickles, especially the ones with the little ridges on it. She's, she says they're more crispy. Some heavy cream because we have a sweet tooth. Some organic 2% milk for my son. My son, my son. And Sarah loves these, and because I had extra money, I bought them. And these are the only real garbagey type things I did buy. So some pizza snacks and some chicken fries. Other than that, nothing. Um, look, Rachel. Okay, this sugar it comes, comes with its own uh, minerals, so that's what you want. Okay. It still enters into your bloodstream quickly, like regular sugar, that nasty bleached sugar. But this comes with the mineral, so it doesn't have to steal from your body. Mm -hmm. All right, she's digging in already. We got the cheese going. We got the fruits. These pickles look so weird, but they are the best in the world, you guys. Because they're crispy, right? I hate them. But they got to be cold, right? Yeah. All right. I'm going to put all this away, and then I'll show you. Um, Wait, can I, I mean, do an ASMR basket. really quick? Oh. <laughs> okay, I meant to say market basket. Okay, for market basket, I looked at the ingredients, they weren't horrifying. So I got these chicken patties, we'll see how they go. Some American cheese, some mozzarella cheese, and this is that non GMO corn chips I was talking about. To me, they're kind of hard. Don't you think so too? Oh, they're terrible, I hate them. Really? Yeah, they're not really like light and crispy, they're more harsh, but you get so much more for your money. Uh, some kind of Chinese food I can make maybe with that chicken I was talking about. Some coconut flour, regatta cheese, and, and I want to make a regatta pie and, uh, what else? Regatta pie and a lasagna. Boy, I could feed, I could feed all of where I live in this town with all this food. Okay, so I like this natural soy sauce alternative. You can get this at Market Basket. And my son's... Cutlets. I didn't like these as far as the ingredients goes. Okay, so I will put all this away, upload this video, and go see Our Lady of Guadalupe's picture. Oh yes. So God bless you on your shopping ventures.